<clears throat> okay, this is going to be a very quick tutorial on how to uh, render without having to have LightWave open. Uh, what I have here is, um, I got two programs here. I got uh, LWSN Controller and uh, uh, Apple's QuickTime, QuickTime Pro actually. Uh, I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, this thing here, this little program, LWSN Controller, if you do a search, it's uh, from a free uh, plugin from a company called DStorm, or, or a free uh, executable actually. And um, what it does is it will allow you to load up a, a bunch of LightWave scenes and just render them uh, one after another without you having to monitor the renders and uh, go ahead and load up the next scene. So once, if you add a scene and you go in to, uh, let's see, we'll go in to my Dragon Wars. All right. Uh, when you load up a scene, it'll ask you to uh, save the save the uh, the actual images and you can specify a frame range uh, you can specify a content directory and then you can give it any type of image that you want and you give it a directory to save in <coughs> and uh, oh. um, all right. and then uh, you can just add another scene after that and let's go ahead and give it any kind of, I'm, I'm not of course Going to actually render these things, but once it once it renders one uh, one scene and it's done rendering that, it'll render the other one, and uh, you could just add up as many scenes as you want. You click start and it starts rendering them for you. Um, and the other thing is, it's actually much faster too because Lightwave is not having to since you don't have Lightwave actually running, you're just running the render engine by itself, so it doesn't have to worry about having all the objects uh, loaded in there and showing the uh, 3D uh, uh, view of, of your scene and all the overhead, uh, memory overhead that comes from running layout. So um, this is an extremely handy utility and it's free. You can find it online. And the other thing is too is uh, what you do is you can install LightWave on a computer <clears throat> and uh, and then after you've installed it uh, go ahead and install this program and you'll go ahead and, and use this uh, this item here uh, to find the uh, actual um, uh, LightWave render engine yeah, it's in it's in the uh, program folder of uh, your uh, LightWave install, and then after that, um, you can go ahead and render on your machine without having uh, LightWave running. You can have your your uh, LightWave dongle on a different machine and, and go ahead and render on one machine and and uh, go ahead and use LightWave on a different machine and go ahead and uh, that way you can render on various different machines. Now, if you have plugins, you have to install those plugins onto this new machine that you're rendering from, and if you have plugins that uh, require uh, you to be locked into a certain machine, then you're going to have to either buy another version of the plugin to work on on your render machine, or you'll have to do some sort of uh, well, you'll have to you know use something different. Um, you won't be able to use those plugins, the the regular plugins that come with LightWave, and uh, all the free stuff that you find on Play, Play, of course. You just install those and you're good to go. Uh, the other thing a trick I wanted to show you is uh, what to do once you've uh, rendered a bunch of images. Now you can open up, for example, Adobe Premiere or something like that to compile all those images, but uh, what I found was uh, Apple QuickTime, if you register this and go for a QuickTime Pro, it's like $20 or something like, something like that. Um, once you've done that, go to File, Open Image Sequence, and uh, you can select the first frame of your images that have been rendered, and just click on Open, and then it will go ahead and uh, bring all those images and uh, create a movie clip for you then you go to file export and the good thing about this thing is that you can export to um, for example iPhones, iPods, uh, MPEG4 which is good for putting up on uh, YouTube, uh, FLV and uh, it's a really a, a pretty cheap uh, utility for doing that kind of thing. The only problem is right now uh, as of um, this is 7.4 and there is a, a bug in uh, QuickTime 7.4 I found where it's only, as you can see, it only brought in the first frame. And uh, hopefully Apple will go ahead and fix that soon. So I guess go on the Apple boards and uh, websites and, and, and forums, find out when they fix that, and then go ahead and purchase it. But what you could do is go on Apple's website. Uh, if you go to the support area of Apple's website, they have a thing that says um, <coughs> uh, previous versions. So download 7.3 version of QuickTime, and uh, that one works much better. Hope this little tip helps out.